At Gremlin, we are often asked how to get started with chaos engineering. To help engineers adopt the practice of chaos engineering, Gremlin created scenarios. Scenarios makes it simple to run your first chaos engineering experiments based on real-world outages. To see how scenarios works, use our recommended scenarios, which cover common failures. As microservice architectures become popular, it's important to understand dependencies as part of the increased complexity of these architectures. Here we have a scenario that simulates unavailable dependencies. This scenario increases the attack's magnitude, or the number of unreachable dependencies, to simulate losing network traffic to other services, as well as the blast radius, or the percent of targets affected. We're going to run this scenario against our website. To run the experiment, simply select hosts you want to target, and click Run. Here you can see the images on our website load correctly. As the scenario runs, you can see that the images no longer load, which means the system is not handling the failure as we'd expected. After the scenario runs, you can add results for the experiment and note whether it validated or invalidated your hypothesis. In this case, it did not handle the failure, so we'll note that. You can also create your own experiment with a custom scenario. Give it a name, description, and a hypothesis for what you expect to happen during the experiment before you target hosts and add a series of attacks. To increase the blast radius, simply increase the number of hosts to attack. To increase the magnitude, change the attack options to increase their effect. Then, after adding the attacks, save or run the scenario. Gremlin Scenarios makes chaos experiments simple to start with and easy to replicate and share with fellow engineers. Run your first scenario in Gremlin Free or inside your Gremlin Pro account today.